in today's session of Divorce Court. Rochelle Harrison says she knew her marriage to Barry was in trouble right from the start. Right after I do and he put the ring on, the ring should have failed. You pawned your ring That's two right. days after the wedding. I only got $15 for it, too. From the day we left the chapel, our marriage started going downhill. And now she says she can't stand the sight of him. What is that piece of paper you're holding up? To keep us separated. I don't want to look at it. I'm coming home What's from work, that? driving in the driveway. He's sitting there with his head cocked backwards, big old ghetto blaster, playing ice tea. That's ice cube, ice off. cube. You were playing ice tea for the ice cube, so I don't, I don't, don't want to hear ice cube, cold cube, or no other Nobody. cube. <laughs> Now, Rochelle Harrison wants Barry Harrison out of her life as they face off in today's session of Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Rochelle Harrison versus Barry Harrison. Mr. Harrison, I'm advised that after two and a half years of marriage, you're ready for a divorce. That's true. Why? Because Rochelle put her family before our marriage. What we, do you mean by that? Well, we were newly, we were new in recovery. We had a little one-bedroom apartment. What does new in recovery mean? Well, new in recovery means just, uh, just getting sober. We've been sober for just a little while. <laughs> Clean and sober, we are alcoholics and addicts, recovered alcoholics and addicts. Recovering alcoholics and addicts. Right, both and, of us are. And you're new in recovery, meaning that you've been in that for less than a year or so? Well, she had. I'd had a couple of years more than she did had. All right. Okay, and we just got us a one-bedroom apartment. So she wants to move two adults and three kids in there. Kids running all around crazy. Her children or someone else's her children? On her side of the family, okay. Uh, kids running all around crazy. Uh, the, the what do adults, you mean running around crazy? Well, baby's kids just running around. But you said two adults and one kid. I said two adults and three kids, ma'am. Oh, three kids. Yes, right. ma'am. We don't have but a one-bedroom apartment place. I, I was against it. I told her not to do it. The adults had no source of income. They bought no food. They paid no rent. You they did. paid no bills. Stayed so there for a got, year. They did not. Yes, they we did didn't stay even live there. Yet. We weren't even there married a year. And for the first six or seven months, they and didn't do anything. what is that anything. piece of paper you're holding up? To keep us separated. Oh, you want him to be quiet? I don't want to look at it. They laid up on the couch. Mr. Harrison, I don't want to look at it. <laughs> they, All right, hold on a second. Let me see if I can do it a little better. Mr. Harrison, look at me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Mr. Yes, Harrison, Honor. you look at me. Yes, ma'am. All right, we don't need you to hold a piece of paper up. And then what happened? Okay, they were not there yet. Okay, but like I say, Things did get hectic, and you know they did leave. Eventually, they did leave, but it, they did not. What stay do you mean there by things yet. got hectic? He said they I were mean, big yeah, kids running start... around. Yes, they were. Totally they were... uncontrollable. Totally uncontrollable. You a lie. Did they, I mean, clothes kids on. gonna be kids. You see what I'm saying? And well, like kids said, gonna be kids. What does that mean? I mean, they're all types of kids. Play. You know, and it was a one bedroom. You know, it was a one bedroom, and it was tight in there. It was I tight. admit that. Too and many by, people in that exactly. little space. And by Barry not working, being home every day, I guess it was heck. I was working every Barry day. Barry was not working at I that work, particular I went time. To work Barry faithfully. was Mr. Harrison. No, where? Yes, ma'am. I went to work in front of the TV. Working. See, Barry's not telling the whole the whole picture of it. Well, okay. you give me. I'm we giving were, you a chance to give me the whole picture. Yes, ma'am. We were getting. You know, our relationship was getting worse and worse and worse. It just. From the, from the day we left the chapel, our marriage started going downhill. After you said I do? It started going straight downhill. Instead of going uphill? It went straight downhill. <laughs> so you know, marriage really, really was... Married. Married. She wanted to be married See, in the I, first place. So marriage was a downhill journey. Why was from that? The, right after I do and he put the ring on, the ring should have failed. <laughs> what happened, Mrs. Harris? Okay, for, first of all, he claims that I'm a jealous person, at which I'm not. Very jealous in this okay. chair. We, and it, I noticed we, that you don't have the ring now. Did it fall? You threw it away or what? It's been gone. She pawned What'd you do with it? He she said pawned it. Pawned it. What'd you, you do with yours? She pawned it. What'd you do with yours? I pawned mine. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you both pawned it? <laughs> so you both pawned your rings and got rid of them? Yeah. The next day? Yeah. The I next day after the wedding? No, not no, after the wedding. it was a couple of days for me. Two days after? That's it. You pawned your ring... That's Two right. days after the wedding. I only got $15 for it, too. Did you need some money or you were declaring the marriage over? No, what I was, was declaring that all about? the marriage over. 
So, you, so regardless of whether the son, the, the uncle, or the daughter-in-law, or the baby kids came in or not, you were through with this marriage anyway. I was through with this marriage because Rachelle's very demanding. She wants her way. Wait a minute. And how are you demanding in two days? What? I was, She's been demanding. What, she was demanding all along before I even married her. She was this way. So then what changed? Very What's the big deal? She was very demanding. She always wanted her way. You know, she wouldn't listen to me. She would... And so after you married her, you decided, okay, it's over. I'm not going to stay with her now. No, I, you know, I, I decided that when she told me she didn't like men, she hated <laughs> men. After I married I her... I told you I hated men. I said, why are you going to tell me you hate men after we get married? Yeah, why What's would you tell me that you? after you get married, Mrs. Harrison? Ma'am, I said I hate men. No, yeah. she said men, period. <laughs> Coming home from work, that? driving in the driveway, he's sitting there with his head cocked backwards, his shorts on, and big old ghetto blaster playing iced tea. I'm Dude, not for that. That's and not when iced I would tea. come home and uh, said, "Man, turn that's that mess cube. off." That's ice cube. So it you're was saying like, that he was he was rather immature. He's very immature. So she very said she, you were playing iced tea for the ice cube. So all right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But I, and and you didn't know that he was at this level of immaturity two not days when we before you married. Got married. So what did you do? Marry him blind? I wear glasses, ma'am. No. Very. We like I said, wait a minute. I, I don't understand. No. Why didn't you know what his level of maturity and the fact that he, he liked married. Ice Cube before you married? I knew he had a lot of tapes, but I didn't. I mean, I didn't think he. he, he might I get a chance? You thought I didn't he think got he met. was that far gone. You, you see what I'm saying? I, you know, I thought his he had developed a little bit of culture and, and exactly. his taste had gone beyond the teenage mood. Exactly. Well, it's a lot of us people that like Ice Cube. Is that, is that a problem? No, no, there is no problem. There oh. is, I, I, he's okay with me. But when you got him walking down the street sky high and I'm just getting off of work... You don't want to hear all that I noise. I don't want to hear Ice Cube, Cold Cube, or no Nobody. other Cube. <laughs> all you want to do is relax. Exactly. When Divorce Court returns, Rochelle testifies about Barry's spiteful ways. Barry tells me, well, Rochelle, I tossed all your clothes out, everything. I did. And you think it's funny? Yeah. You do? Yeah, because she abandoned me. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce Court is back in the case of Rochelle Harrison, who says her husband Barry pawned his wedding ring two days after they got married. What was the other problem, Ms. Harrison? Okay, the other problem is that Barry, his women friends had oh. no respect at all for me. None. And when That's I would true, confront Barry about it, I would say, well, Barry, if she can speak to, speak to you, why can't she speak to me? So what do you mean by that? They come to your house and not speak to you? They'll come wherever we are. Ooh. I mean, we're at dances, she we're at, me. at 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 a a a, 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 a Halloween uh, dance. Big Butt uh, was Who's putting her face. Who was Big Butt? You butt? remember? I don't know. He remembers. We were sitting up against. This the... is one of his women you're referring to. As yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, no. ma'am. Oh, we no. were sitting. I never you remember? You no, you. I didn't say I you cheated. cheated. I never it. caught her. She didn't like I my never friends. Hold on a second. I never caught her. My friends were in recovery. She didn't like my friends because I never caught her. Okay. And she wanted me to get rid of all my friends I knew before I even met her and married okay. her. All right, Mr. Harrison. And I wouldn't do that. Let her finish telling okay. me about it. To do that. We were uh, at the uh, Easter dance, uh, Halloween dance. Me and him were sitting up against the wall. Big, whatever her name, I don't even, I it forgot her name. It was one of your friends. No, it was your friend because she had her behind in your face, not my face. <laughs> she was your friend, And when though. I confronted she him was about that, friend, it was like, by. why don't you say something? Okay, that's one of He had So what are you girl. saying to me when you say she had her behind in his face? She come up to him and talk to him and in, in a Put loving little, manner, knowing that you're sitting there as his exactly. wife? Exactly. Didn't say hi, Rochelle, bye, Rochelle, nothing. And then turn around and put her behind That's in his face, story. and he sat there and he just smiled. So you're That's feeling disrespected as I'm a wife? I'm feeling totally disrespected. Oh, you got to I would tell Barry, I, uh, and then you is would know. Feel, is there a, a jealousy here? No, ma'am. Oh, oh no, man. ma'am. That's what she's no, no, ma'am. jealous. No, it was not jealous. It was that, that What did you think I'm the women wife, should do? Pardon me? What did you think they should do? At, when they see him, or, you know, when we're together, at least have you don't like me, have the common courtesy to say hi. Did you ever speak to them? No. No. She hated them. So, she hated all my common friends. Common courtesy goes both ways. He wouldn't speak, but they would speak to him. Well, but Mrs. So Harrison, I, I you're speak. saying they disrespected you as the wife. They'd speak to him and not speak to you. 
So it sounds like to me that you didn't care too much for them. I didn't. No, she and didn't. And so as a result of that, she hated you them. wouldn't show them common courtesy and speak to them. So No, why? I wouldn't. So if they had spoken to you, you probably would have cussed them out. That she would have. I would have. So she would have cussed them out. Because it started, the way it started that. is that they started it first, ma'am. And okay, cussed me out. When he's that. always talking about recovery, well, they owed me a minute because chance, they disrespected me first. You're on a piece, well, Because I've right. always, I, the, I would try from the beginning <laughs> to be, speak to them. To, I w it would Ooh. speak. But when they start disrespecting me that through hurts. him, it was like, wait a minute, that partner, hurts. you got that to say hurts. something. So what, what, what about that, Mr. Harrison? You're on a, she hated all my friends in recovery, all my female friends in recovery. I wait, knew. Wait a minute, didn't the two of you meet in recovery? Yeah, but she hated all my women friends in recovery because she's so jealous and insecure. She so since even... she met you in recovery and was turned on by you, she thought everybody else wanted you too. Exactly, Is that what you're saying? Exactly, And we would go to the supermarket, and I'm, I'm the kind of person I like to shop with coupons. So I'd be in this, uh, 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 use my little coupons, and she would rush me out the store. Come on, come on, we go. We got to go. I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. We got to go. We got to go. So we She didn't get... want you to save money? She didn't even let me save money. Why she was that? She rushed me out of the supermarket. Why? Because she, she thought you were no going patience. with the checker? She has no patience. Oh, so she was impatient, None. and that was yes. a problem in the relationship. Every time, I'd hate to take her to the supermarket with me because I knew what I was going to go through. So why'd you take we, her? Why'd you go by yourself? Because, because I was buying the going. food. No, because she because was... Because I was buying the food. She would insist on going with me. So if you were buying the food and you had the money and he was willing to do the shopping with the coupons and was willing to take however long it would take to do the shopping with the coupons, why you just couldn't give him the money? I was not going to give Barry my money to go nowhere. Why? Barry would go to the laundromat. Barry would stay four or five hours. I would Ooh. page Barry. <laughs> Barry never answered the pages. She put and then when I would tell... Let's that's count ridiculous. the money. Let's put it on pen a, pa a, a pencil and paper because that's not going to lie. He'd always come up short. So why would I give him so my money? So Not with my money. She didn't trust her husband. Ain't so now something? you didn't trust your husband with your money. What? Here's a man that you married and said that you love, but you don't that's trust right. him enough to go to the market and buy groceries. That's right. Why did you exactly. blame me? So you thought me. maybe if he was gone for four or five hours, he may be going to see some of those other women that you didn't I, trust him with. Is that it? Secure. Whatever. You wanted to make sure that he was there well, and I what put was it, going I, on. I'll put it to you like this. He had, I got him a pager. Okay? So that you could keep up with him. Yeah. I got him a she pager. Did. She did. And, but he never and answered, he didn't answer pages. the page. Never. I would oh, that's and I'd story. blow it up. I'd blow his pager She'd up. She'd blow, blow it up. up. I'd have you to mean turn like down it every minute on the minute? I'd have to turn he, it off. And he wouldn't you answer. You know? I'd be on the bus and I'd have to wait till I get off the bus to answer the page. Did he have a cell phone? No, no. So he how could he answer the page without pocket. a cell phone? He had 35 cents in his so pocket. So every time you paged him, he was supposed to stop at the nearest phone booth and call you? That's well, ridiculous. Let's say, <laughs> let's say something was wrong. But you're blowing up the page every minute. We okay, know nothing's that's, wrong. That's when he wouldn't answer it the first time. Every time I would go to work or something and I'd call, Barry's not So there. you didn't trust Barry. Uh, no, it, it, it wasn't the trust because he made me feel this way. Why every time I leave to go to work or something, you're Barry's leaving gone. right behind me. And leave, Mr. Mr. Harrison, where were you going? Well, every um, time. Every time. Fact, when she went fact, out the door, are, front door to go me, to work, he went out the back me, door to get to work. Back, too. Wait a minute, let me, exactly. get back, let me give this my turn. Let me get back to the supermarket. No, let's get back to where were you going every time she left out the front door to go to work. Well, I had things to do. You know, like I, what, Mr. I, I used to be the one to wash the clothes. She was too lazy to get up and wash so the clothes. So you were going to the laundromat? I would go to the laundromat, I would wash the clothes. I'd spend maybe an hour and a half. I would wash them and dry them. And you and just come happen to meet home. somebody at the large mat, and you get off into a nice conversation, and just happen to be a female, right? Sometimes. Uh -huh. And that's Sometimes. why he couldn't. I mean, but, stop. But I never cheated on my wife. I never but cheated on my trust wife. You. But she didn't trust me. So, what's going on today? What can I do for well, you? Well, today is that there is a very spiteful person. Okay. I had, uh, we were already separated. I had uh, left my, my apartment. I left my son in law, my son, and my daughter in law with the grandbaby there. This is another matter this between me and my cousin. Well, my cousin had changed the locks on my door. Some kind of way, him and Barry got in cahoots with each other and met at my apartment and threw everything away. Everything. Threw all oh, that's a lie. Every, 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 everything. Everything. What do you my, mean that's by everything? Lie, Your Honor. My, from, from the toilet paper to the stove oh, and refrigerator. Oh, that's ridiculous. Threw away the stove and they, refrigerator? As far as I'm concerned, I the wasn't there. Paper. I'm going to say they threw them away. Now, what are you saying to me? The two of you had separated? Yeah, we would already separate. When Barry left, when I asked Barry to leave, Barry took that's what he wanted. That's from, right. From I the, took my personal stuff. He took his personal stuff. I took stuff. my little Hold TV. Hold on a second. I still, there's two of oh, you talking. He okay. took, he well, took. Well, give me a chance. I took oh, my I'm TV. I'm not through with mine, I took my VCR. Hold on. And I took my clothes. 
All right, now okay, is that, you and want to I say left, anything and else? And I left her the keys when I left. Okay, so you took your to TV, VCR, and your clothes. Right. And All right, I... now let her finish. Okay. Okay. And I'm not accusing Barry of, of the TV and the stuff. The only thing I'm accusing Barry of is my clothes. I had seen Barry after I said, Barry, I said, you know, what happened to my, you know, to the stuff? Barry tells me, well, Rochelle, I tossed all your clothes out, everything. I did. You did? Okay. Yeah. And you think it's funny? Yeah. You do? Yeah, because she abandoned me. She just left. We were already separated. And she'd been gone separated. for eight months, and I'm oh. supposed to hold on to her stuff, and she left it all anyway. She'd been gone for eight I months. I left my dress Why should I say you anything and for it you? Wasn't and you so didn't even call me and let me know you were all right? I wasn't going about to save nothing for her. I tore up the wedding certificate. I tore up every, all her and pictures show, and all and her show pictures you how spiteful and everything that had to do with her. I didn't want no more memories so of so her. What, so you just went tearing crazy. You just tore up everything in I sight. I tore up the wedding certificate and all our pictures. Yeah, because she abandoned me. When divorce court returns, the judge renders her verdict and an update on the case of Joyce Foster versus Anthony Foster. He called me a nigger. What? Your Honor, it was out of... Stress. Divorce Court will be back in session in a moment. Divorce Court is back in the case of Barry Harrison, who says his wife Rochelle told him she hates men after they got married. How much is all this worth, Mrs. to you, Miss Harrison? Although it was worth nothing to him. It was, and, uh, it was it's worth more than I say there over $2,000. Ooh, that's ridiculous. No, that is. You should have seen that Salvation Army stuff. Well, you know what? He, 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 he needs to quit yeah, that. Y'all never called somebody he, gay to her. It was four to years old. That. Barry Harrison, you are lying. A couple you of hoochie dresses. Yeah, she and brought them down. Mr. Mr. Harrison had just bought me. Come to order, please. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Judge. You know what? It really is. You said I should have seen it. You said something really important there. And perhaps I should have. And I may have seen it had you left it for me to see. <laughs> But you didn't no leave judge. it for me to see. No judge. So now you're saying that it was, quote, hoochie mama stuff. Mrs. Harrison has a complete list of the items that she says were hers. You don't have a list. So at least you could have taken inventory and said, this is what I threw away. Yes, judge. But it's her clothing. Yes, now, I don't judge. have any idea what it's worth other than her word because you didn't keep it. Yes, judge. Now, maybe to you it wasn't worth a penny, but it was her clothing. You were just tearing up things, and you were angry, and you didn't count up the cost, did you? No, Your Honor. I Can you afford $2,000? No, ma'am, I can't. So now you can't afford $2,000 either? No, Your Honor, I can't. But you got a problem. You got to pay it. I didn't have anything, nothing. The court's order is you reimburse her the $2,000 for her clothing. Ooh. Thank you, Your Honor. Court's adjourned. All rise. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Joyce Foster versus Anthony Foster. He was taking a, a bath. Don't tell me you caught him in the bathtub together. No, he had hickeys on his stomach from her, though. Why, you were still married? Yes. Closed captioning for Divorce Court provided by... If you would like to have the judge hear your case in Divorce Court, Call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in divorce court. Joyce Foster said she knew her husband Anthony had once been a white supremacist, but she believed him when he swore that he had changed his ways until he called her the N-word. He called me a nigger. What? Your Honor, it was out of stress. And what's within a man's heart comes out of his mouth. It slipped. It wasn't No, it didn't done. slip. No, your it... mouth opened and your tongue moved and your lips moved and you said the word. Joyce said she tried to forgive Anthony, but then she found out he was cheating on her. He was taking a, a bath. Don't tell me you caught him in the bathtub together. No, he had hickeys on his stomach from her, though. While you were still married? Yes, and he was still trying to have relations with me. Joyce said she got evicted from her apartment because Anthony backed out on his promise to help pay her rent. She still owed more than $600 in back rent, and she wanted Anthony to pay it. But the judge decided they should each pay half. Joyce says she is dating again and looking for a new man who can accept her for who she is. 
She's also giving Anthony lots of visitation time with their son and hopes it will help him become more tolerant of other races. Anthony says he's glad his marriage to Joyce is over because he has another son with his current girlfriend and he plans to marry her very soon. I got the majority of the stuff I wanted to get in. I'm very pleased with her verdict. I felt that uh, I, sh I, sh I didn't owe uh, Rachelle anything as far as her clothing because she, uh, she had abandoned the marriage and she's been gone for eight months. I went through too much now and I want to just keep on and uh, enjoy my life. I'm just grateful to uh, be able to get a divorce now. No, I will not ever get married again. I, I doubt that I'll ever get married again for a long time.